What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be removing the instrument cluster out of a 2003 Trailblazer. Going to be fixing the stepper motors and going to be replacing the LEDs inside. The first thing we're going to do is remove this nut and this nut so we can get to the three screws on the main panel. Okay, the three Phillips heads have been removed. Now I have two more right here and one right here. Then I should have one more right up under the heat control right in here. Okay, the next thing you want to do is you want to pull up on, pull out on the cover. It's got little clips. You want to work your way around. Just to be sure, don't snatch it all the way out. You want to remove these clips connecting these controls before you pull the complete thing out. This first clip's got a button on the bottom. Press that in, it pops right out. It, this one has the button on this side here. Press that, that one pops out. I'm gonna tilt. You want to tilt this back so it's clear when you're pulling it out. Okay, if you look behind, I got a clip right here. I'm going to pull that one out. I'm going to take a little flathead screwdriver and pull up on this piece, allowing the plug to pop out. Okay, the next thing you want to do is remove both cigarette lighters. Press in on the clip unplugs on both of them. Black to black, white to white. Now that the panel's removed, you're going to take a seven millimeter nut driver and remove four nuts. One here, one there, one in this corner, and one in this corner. Okay, once the four nuts are removed, you're going to have a clip right here that you need to remove. So I found it easier just to pull the gauge cluster out, turn it to the side. You'll see top and bottom, press them in. Pops out. All right, now the upper and lower cover has been removed. Now I'm going to remove each one of these. Special tool to, tool to remove each one. But you can also use a fork and slide up under it and pry each one off. Okay, now each one of those are removed. Remove this, this board. Left with the board with all the stepper motors. I have the new stepper motors right here. I ordered offline off of Amazon. I also have some replacement blue LEDs to go in place of the white ones. Okay, the next thing I went ahead and did was it was above here. Right there, one here, here, and one, two, three, and four. I'm not gonna remove this one, but the way I removed it, is I took a pair of needle nose and just very gently twisted it. Grab it onto the blue. Very gently twisted it, it pops right off. Once I did that, I went outside and I plugged this board back into the dash. I took my LED and I checked for polarity. Just by touching each one, flip it around. I put a dot. 
So on the positive, the long, the long lead is going to go towards the dot. So this one, the long lead's here. This one's up top. This one's up top. This one's below. It's going to be on this corner. Up top, below, up top, and up top. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut this a little shorter. We'll get as close to the board as I can and solder the LED on. Okay, all the LEDs have been replaced. Now, I'm going to go ahead and flip the board over. Start desoldering all these stepper motors. We want to desolder. Place the wick over the solder. Solder and iron on. Remove the solder. Okay, I have the first one desoldered. I'm gonna go ahead and slide the the new one into slot. Make sure all the wires are sticking up. They they are, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw some solder on it. Okay, the first one's soldered on. Now I'm going to go ahead and desolder the rest of them and put the new ones on. Okay, all the separate motors and LEDs have are they're finished. They've been soldered in. I'm going to go ahead and replace this cover back on here. I'm going to go ahead and put these back on. I'm just going I'm just sticking them on and I'm going to take it outside, plug it up and calibrate it. Okay, I plugged the wire in, the harness back in, and I went ahead and set them all the way, all the way to 100, like E on zero, nine, put that to zero, put that to zero, then I cranked it up, it went ahead and auto -cal calibrated, and when I turn it back off, you can tell that it did not go back down to E, so I'm going to move these, move that one to E, move that one to zero, that one a nine, 100, move this, to zero, all right, now we'll crank it back up, off all right let's see here I'm just gonna go all the way around 
put that one on e I think that has it. Kept on adjusting it, so whenever I cut it off, it stops back on E. Like, it stops at 100, 9, 0, 0 for the speed. And I'm just going to change the tack. Cut it off, it's on zero. Okay, guys, um, I, I have an OBD2 Bluetooth adapter with the app for my cell phone, and I was comparing the two numbers together. The tack lines up with the, the one on the OBD2. The speed lines up, the bolts line up, and the temp line up. Um, the gas hand, it, that's about where it was before. And the, I can't tell you about the the oil, because it's never it never worked. Um, the tack never worked when I bought the vehicle, and the oil gauge never worked. And towards the end, the speedometer quit, the, the gas was messing up, the fuel, and the volts would work when I wanted to. So everything seems like it's working great now. Thanks for watching.